A question that always comes up when we're naming compounds is when are prefixes used in naming compounds? Let's have a look at three very familiar compounds, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water. What do these three compounds have in common? Well, first, carbon dioxide has carbon and oxygen. Carbon monoxide, again, has carbon and oxygen. And water has hydrogen and oxygen. Have a look at the periodic table. Carbon is a nonmetal. Oxygen is a nonmetal. And hydrogen is, in a sense, a nonmetal. Covalent compounds are made up of nonmetals only. There are no charges involved. So that's that. When you see a compound made up of two nonmetals, you know you're dealing with a covalent compound. And that's when you use prefixes. Carbon dioxide needs a subscript of two with the oxygen. Carbon monoxide has an invisible subscript of one. And water is the common name for H2O, which actually is dihydrogen monoxide. Again, covalent compounds are made up of nonmetals. Here are the prefixes for numbers one to 10. Let's look at some examples. SF6. When we have an invisible one here, we don't need to start with the prefix mono. First, we have to know that we are building a compound using sulfur and fluorine. Both are nonmetals, sulfur and fluorine, both nonmetals. We would write sulfur. Hexa fluoride. Hexa comes from the prefix for six, and we change INE to IDE. How about N2O4? We have nitrogen and oxygen. Both are nonmetals. Nitrogen combined with oxygen. Will result in, let me get rid of the six here, the two matches with di, so it would be di nitrogen, and the four matches with tetra, tetra oxide. Again, the tetra comes from four, di comes from two, and the element oxygen changes to an oxide. Can you write the formula given the name then? How about carbon tetrahydride? Both are nonmetals. Tetra is the name for four, one atom of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen. You might know the common name for this one is methane. And finally, let's look at nitrogen trihydride. Tri is the prefix for three. Nitrogen is capital N. Hydride is hydrogen, and we have three atoms. One atom of nitrogen, three atoms of hydrogen to make nitrogen trihydride. And you might know that this common name is ammonium. The key takeaway then for using prefixes in a compound is that compound is made up of nonmetals.